Hey Nerdy Ghouls, welcome back to our Spooky Oasis. Today we're at a very special event in Denver because it's gonna give me an opportunity to educate people about a misunderstood creature, you know, the spider. <laughs> so the Butterfly Pavilion is hosting an exhibit all through October called Spiders Around the World where they're sharing up close experiences with tarantulas and different orb weavers. I really wanted to take this opportunity to explore what spiders really are like up close and personal. You know, throughout horror and Halloween history, we've always known that spiders are a really big part of it, but I wanted to understand why. So it turns out that it goes back all the way to Greek mythology being associated to being a very scary creature. And then we've seen it throughout pop culture in movies like Arachnophobia, which is a must watch if you haven't seen it. Today we're going to go on an adventure to see what it's like to be up close and personal with tarantulas or believers and see if we learn anything from this experience and maybe just maybe get some exposure therapy out of it. Okay, so we are in Rosie's Corner, the tarantula that is very famous across Denver for living here at the Butterfly Pavilion. And we are about to hold her, potentially even get to hold her little baby tarantulas. I am a little nervous, but also very excited to get past this fear of mine. Well, is it dangerous to hold her? No, it is not dangerous to hold Rosie, but a lot of people feel that it is scary. And we totally understand that there is fear behind holding a spider. But uh, she is a very gentle uh, tarantula by her DNA, by nature. The Chilean rosehair tarantula is the species that we choose as our ambassador species to come out of the cage about uh, enclosures and interact with our guests. So she gives us plenty of warning signs, plenty of opportunities for us to put her away before she bites. She's going to do uh, three different things. Kick off kicking hairs is the first thing that a Rosie will do if she is upset and she's saying, hey, back off. Okay. So the verticating hairs on, her on the back hairs of her legs and her abdomen are really, really irritating and itchy to our skin and her face if they come up into our eyes and our nose. And it's almost like uh, fiberglass insulation, that pink stuff at the uh, roof of your house. Uh, if we were to touch that, it's very itchy to us and irritating. You could have allergic reactions. So that's her first warning sign. Kind of like a porcupine, you know, will let's say, hey, back off. The spider will kick off her hairs and say, hey, back off. Then if that doesn't work, she'll then turn and face the person who's making her upset and angry. And then she's gonna rear up. You know how a horse will rear on its back legs? Well, she'll rear up on her bad legs, showing her front legs and showing her fangs. And saying, hey, by the way, look at my fangs. And she can even start drooling with some venom oh, off of those fangs and showing us, hey, I'm not messing around here. You better back off. And if that still doesn't work, then she might bite. But this behavior that you see right here, just walking nice and slowly from one hand to the other, that's the behavior we want to see. I don't know what That's positive, good behavior. She's getting exercise. She's moving. Does she ever just stop? Yeah, that's totally cool. She just stops and takes a little nap or a little break. That's totally cool too. I put the spider right on your hand. Okay. If you want her off, just tell me that you're off and I'll take her off your body right away. Oh my god, she's so cool. She's really gentle. And then she just walks right off your body, right off. I'm so glad. Yes. So I pick out Rosie's here little treadmill. Yeah. And I make sure she always has a nice flat surface for her to walk on. Because a fall from this height to the floor would be fatal for Rosie. So we don't want to drop be very bad. No, no. A drop would be very bad. A pet. Reaching for a pet at Rosie. Okay, guys, I did it. I got my I held Rosie sticker at the Butterfly Pavilion. Gonna wear it with lots of pride right here uh okay honestly it was not that bad she's so lightweight and soft like you can barely feel her i almost wish that they would have like let me actually like hold her on my own 
because now I kind of want one. She was so cute and gentle. Um, so if you are in Denver, please check this out. It was such a cool experience and I think Rosie is available year round if you can't make it out to this spider event. Okay, so behind me you can see all the cases with the different spiders from around the world. They are all so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie, me and Mr. Spooks were like afraid when we were like peeking close to the casing to see like if they were hiding and then we were scared that they were gonna like crawl out at us, but really they're just so cute and sweet. I hope you guys enjoy. center where they have spider themed things from the sea which is pretty cool a lot of them definitely have those like spider vibes that we're used to but in the sea so I'm really excited to share some of that with you some of the cute little spider things they have. around the world at the butterfly pavilion I had so much fun today learning about spiders and I definitely feel like I conquered some of my fear not all of it but hey exposure therapy is key and learning all about spooky things makes my heart really happy so that I can always inform others about misunderstood creatures you know what I mean let me know down below what your favorite spider was and you can check out all the information about tickets coming to see this exhibit at the link in the description below until next time sending you goals and kisses bye